Hello everyone, I am Harsh and today we are going to discuss the 27th problem from CP31 sheet by TLA eliminators under the 1100 rating range. So let's move on to CP31 sheet. Here you have the 1100 rating box checked and here is a clickable link to your problem. So let's move on to the problem. So the name of the problem is subtract operation. So you are given a list of n integers. You can perform the following operation. You choose an element x from the list. Erase this x from the list and subtract the value x from all the remaining elements. Thus, in one operation, the length of the list is decreased by exactly one. Now you are given an integer k that is greater than, greater than zero. You need to find if there is some sequence of n minus one operations such that after applying the operation, the only remaining element of the list is exactly equal to k. Okay. So you are given the number of test cases. For every test case, you are given two integers n and k. n is basically the number of numbers and k is exactly the last number that you want. Then you are given n integers and it is also given the sum of n over all the test cases does not exceed 2 into 10 power 5. So you need to print s. Yes, if you can achieve k with a sequence of n minus 1 operations. Otherwise, you need to print no. So let's understand what the question wants us to say with the help of the first test case. Okay. So in the question, you are given first of all the number of numbers that is n. So let's suppose n is equal to 4 and then you are given our number k. Let's suppose k is equal to 5. This is the k is basically what number you want at the end. Okay. Then you are given n numbers. Let's suppose the n numbers given to you are 4, 2, 2 and 7. Now what operations are you doing? What you are doing is you are selecting first of all a number erasing the number from the list and subtracting this number from every number in the list. So once I select 2, erase this 2 and subtract 2 from every of these numbers, what is the what is the array that I will be left out with? 4 minus 2 becomes 2. This number is deleted. 2 minus 2 is 0 and 7 minus 2 is 5. Okay. Now let's suppose I select this element 2, remove this 2 and subtract 2 from every of these numbers. The array that I will obtain is minus 2 and 3, right? Similarly, if I select this minus 2, remove this minus 2 and subtract minus 2 from the remaining number, I will obtain 3 minus of minus 2 that is equal to 5. And you can see that after series of n minus 1 operations, that is after removing n minus 1 numbers, the final number that I was left out with is exactly equal to the number k that is given to me. So for this particular test case, my answer will be yes. So if there are some sort of operations after which you are able to obtain the final value k as this, you will output yes. Otherwise, you will output no. Okay. So I hope the question is clear. So before discussing the solution, let's discuss the expected time complexity for this solution. So if you look, the value n, that is the number of numbers present in the array, is of the order of 25, right? So any solution that works in big O of n or big O of n log n or big O of n square root n, something like this, or anything lesser than big O of n, like big O of log n, something like this will always work. But if you have a solution that is working in big O of n square or big O of n square square root n, this will definitely give you TLE, right? So you have to design a solution that works within this time constraint. So how we can do this? So there is, if you just do what they have mentioned with the help of some variables, the things will become very clear. Let me explain you. Let's suppose I tell you that I have four numbers. Okay. And the operations that I am performing is, first of all, I am removing this A4. Then I am removing this A3. Then I am removing this A2. And the final number that is left out with will be my, the final number that is left. Okay. So let's see what is the final number that I will be left out with if I am performing operations like this. So first of all, I am selecting this A4, removing this A4 and subtracting A4 from all of these numbers, right? So the array that I will be left out with is A1 minus A4, A2 minus A4, and a3 minus 
painful. Right? Next, I am selecting this particular number, removing this and subtracting this number from the leftover numbers. So the array that I will be left out with is A1 minus A4, this number minus this number. And A2 minus A4 minus this. Right? So let's simplify this a bit. If you look, this A4, A4 gets cancelled. You will be left out with A1 minus A3. And over here as well, A2, A4, A4 gets cancelled. And you will be left out with A2 minus A3. Okay. Now you are selecting this number, removing this from the array and subtracting this from this particular number. So you will be left out with A1 minus A3 minus A2 minus A3. And over here, if you see A3, A3 gets cancelled. And the final number that you are left out with is nothing but A1 minus A2. What does this mean? This means that if you have some numbers A1, A2, A3 up till An. And let's suppose I tell you that I want this particular number at the end, the number present at this particular position at the end. So the final number I will be left out with is something like A2 minus AI, where AI is any of these numbers, A1, A3 up till AN. AI is basically the number or the position, I is basically the position on which I apply the operation at the end. That is actually the value of that is val that is actually what the index i is and your final answer will be a2 minus ai so can i say that okay what i want i want that my final number is equal to k right so what are the possibilities i have the possibilities that i have is that my final number is present at the position 1, my final number is present at the position 2, my final number is present at the position 3, my final number is present at the position 4 or up till my final number is present at position n, right? These are the possibilities. Now, let's suppose I tell you that my final number is present at position 1. So, do you all agree that a1 minus some ai should be exactly equal to k? So can I say that this AI is nothing but A1 minus K? So can I say that if I have some AI whose value is exactly equal to A1 minus K, in that case, I will be able to tell that, in that case, I will be able to tell that with my final number at position 1, I will be able to construct some series of n minus 1 operations after which the final number at position 1 will come down to k. Do you all agree? So this is how actually I can solve this question. For every possible position as the final position, I will try to say, I will try to check that let's suppose I am I'm telling that the final number will be at position 3. So I will check that do I have a3 minus k present in my array? If I have then what I will do is I will see, I will just simply print yes. That okay? I don't have to actually construct the operations, right? I will be pretty much sure that if I have a3 minus k present in my array, then there will be some series of operations after which I will be able to obtain my final value as k. And this is how actually we can solve this question. So let's jump onto the code and the things will become more clear. So this is the code to this solution. So first of all, I took the number of test cases as input and then for every test case, I am calling this solve function. In this, what I am doing is I am first of all taking n and k as input and then taking n numbers as input and I am constructing a map ll comma bool. This map will basically help me to check that whether a particular number is present in my vector or not. So instead of just traversing over the entire vector for checking that whether a particular number is present or not, I can simply use map that decreases my time complexity from n to log n, right? So just I traversed over the map and just made that MP of that particular number it as 
true that okay this particular number is present in my vector now what i am doing is i am just traversing over all the particular positions as my final positions and how will i check that whether that particular position can be a final position or not with final value as k in my map i will simply check do i have the value vi minus k if yes that is mp dot find vi minus k is not equal to mp dot n then i will simply print yes and i will return and if after completing for all the positions if for any of the pos final positions i didn't get that the final value can be k after series of n minus 1 operations in that case i am simply printing no and this is how this solution let's discuss the time complexity if you look this code runs for n now this code runs this loop runs for n log n because you are traversing over the entire vector and you are storing values in the map and again this loop runs for n log n since you are running a loop of n and using map for checking that whether a particular number is present or not so you can see that the time complexity for this code is nothing but we go n log n what's the space complexity if you look you have constructed a vector of size n which is taking n space and you have constructed a map so you can say that it also takes n space for n distinct numbers so you can say that the space complexity is also we go of n and this will definitely pass the constraint right so i hope all of you got the solution thank you